How is everybody doing tonight? Johnny from On The Come Up Trading. Going to be going over the top watches for November 4th, 2021. Going to be going over AMD, IWM, MRNA, MSFT, QQQ, SPY, and TSLA. Disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Stream is intended for entertainment informational purposes only. On the come up trading will not be held liable for any actions you take as a result of something you saw or heard here. And just to talk about a recap from today, uh, the FMOC meeting, uh, investors responded well to the meeting and we had all time highs across the board. Uh, it was a good day after 2 p.m. We saw some nice breakouts to the upside and lots of new all-time highs. So first we're going to be looking at AMD. This is charted on the one hour time frame. Um, if we look at the daily chart, we have the three white soldiers, these three green candles, which is a bullish pattern. Um, and we also set all-time highs today on November 3rd. So, if we break over 131.25, which is a little bit higher than the all-time highs that hit after hours, we will be looking at the 132 calls, expiration November 5th. Targets would be all psychological. We'll be looking at 132, 132.50, and 133, and continuing increments of half and whole dollars. If we break under the 130.60 area in here, we will be looking at the 130 puts expiration November 5th. Your first target would be 129.95. Your second target would be 129.50. And your third target would be 128.08, which is coming from over here. I would like to see with the three white soldiers showing on the daily and all-time highs, I would like to see this continue into tomorrow. Now we're going to look at IWM. So IWM also hit all-time highs November 3rd after the FMOC meeting. Um, right at 2 o'clock, it had a huge spike um, to the upside. So... If we look, if we go above 240, which is slightly above all time highs, we will be looking at the 241 calls, expiration November 5th. Targets will be all psychological. First target would be 240.50, second target 241, and third target 241.50. Um, continue it with your targets and half and whole dollar amounts. If we break under 238.24, right here, we will be looking at the 237 puts, expiration November 5th. Your first target would be 236.18. Your second target would be 234.94. And your third target would be 232.91. Now we're going to move over to Moderna, our MRNA. Moderna is releasing earnings tomorrow morning on November 4th before market open. Uh, this is charted on the one hour time frame. If we break above 346.40 in here, we will be looking at the 347.50 calls expiration November 5th. Targets would be 348, or excuse me, your first target would be 347.87. Let me fix that. 347.87, your second target would be 350.06, and your third target. 350.06, which is coming from over here. And your third target would be 353.28, this area of resistance here. Now, 
if we break under 344, this area of support here, we will be looking at the 342.50 puts expiration November 5th. Your first target would be 341.48, which if we go all the way over here, that's coming from back here. Your second target would be 338.34. And your third target would be 337 on the head. Going to move over to Microsoft. Microsoft also hit all-time highs today after FMOC. Right around 2 o'clock, it had a huge spike to the upside. Uh, this is charted on the one-hour time frame. So if we go over 335, which is slightly higher than the high of 334.90, we will be looking at the 337.50 calls, expiration November 5th. Uh, targets will be all psychological. First target would be 335.50, second target would be 336, and your third target would be 336.50, continuing increments of half and whole dollars. If we break under 333.52, which is coming from over here, sorry, that's a little sloppy. So if we break this area of uh, support, we will be looking at the 332.50 puts expiration November 5th. Your first target would be 332.64, which is coming from right here. Your second target would be 332 on the head, which is coming from back here. And your third target would be 330.65. Now we're going to move over to QQQ, which also all-time highs. Hit all-time highs during the intraday session, then after hours it pushed even higher uh, for a total high of 394.57. This is charted on the one-hour time frame. If we break over 395 here, we will be looking at the 396 calls. Expiration will be November 5th. Targets will be all psychological. We'll go with 395.50, 396, 396.50, and continue in half and whole dollar increments from there. If we break under 393.61, right here, we will be looking at the 393 puts expiration November 5th. Your first target would be 393.06. Your second target would be pretty far down, would be 389.95. And your third target would be 389.25. And another all time high contender, Spy. It Pop to all-time highs right at 2 o'clock after the FMOC meeting. Um, seems to be a trend from today's trading. This is charted on the one-hour time frame. If we break over 465.75, which is 25 cent higher than the all-time high, which was hidden after hours of 465.50, we will be looking at the 466 calls, expiration November 5th. Targets will be all psychological. We'll go with 466, 46650, and 467. Continue in increments of half and whole dollars for your targets. If we break under 46441, this area of support, we will be looking at the 464 puts expiration November 5th. Your first target would be 46222. Your second target would be 46142. And your third target would be 460.73. And we're going to move on to the beast that just keeps on giving, Tesla. This is charted on the one hour time frame. Um, if we break above $1,218.19, so if we break 
above here. Excuse me. Twelve, $1,218.98. If we break above that, we'll be looking at the 1225 calls expiration November 5th. Your first target would be 1224.89, which is all time highs. Anything over that would be psychological, so we'll be looking at 1230, 1235, and anything past that. I would say with Tesla, just keep it in five and ten dollar increments because of the range of Tesla. If we break under 1208.59, right here, we will be looking at the $1,200 puts expiration November 5th. First target would be 1193.49. Your second target would be 1170.51. And your third target would be 1158.50. So I would like to see the bull run continue with all the excitement we had today after the FMOC. Hopefully everything can continue upward and we can hit new all-time highs tomorrow or maybe Friday. If you guys found my video helpful, um, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. I like criticism and feedback. Tell me what you think I'm doing wrong, what you think I'm doing right, what you would like to see me add. Um, we'll be working on an account challenge soon. Going to start around $5,000 and try to take it to 25,000 and I will be doing videos on that. Um, I hope you guys had a green day today and hopefully a green day tomorrow. My day today was green, um, only traded in the IRA. It was a pretty good day. I caught the spy after the FMOC and made 200% runner plays and I believe 70% on the third one. So it was a pretty good day. Um, and that's pretty much it. You guys have a good night. See you in the morning. Thank you.